Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Just yesterday on Thanksgiving Day in Nantucket, Massachusetts, Biden went in front of the cameras at some firehouse and said that we need red flag laws. Red flag laws has an accuser. It doesn't need to be an honest accusation. It's simply an accuser against a gun owner. And the accuser remains anonymous, never has to show up in court, nothing like that. And the gun owners will, will if approved by a judge, will have their guns removed. This is what Biden said about the need for red flag laws. Look, the idea that we're not enforcing red flag laws, period, just based on knowledge, not on a parent saying or a loved one saying, you should arrest this person now for his own sake. Is ridiculous. He went on to say, the idea that we allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. Just sick. So that's number one. Number two, the idea, the idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. It's just sick. It has no socially redeeming values. Carry, self-protection, home protection. That's not important. Criminals will still have them, but... I suppose that, according to Biden, that it doesn't matter. It has no, no social redeeming value. Zero. None. Not a single solitary rationale for it except profit for the gun manufacturer. Can you do anything about gun laws during the lame duck, sir? I'm going to try. Except profit for the gun manufacturers. Profit is viewed as a bad thing. You know, we talk about the, the profit from the oil companies, the profit from the gun manufacturers. How about the profit from Pfizer or Moderna? Why don't we talk about that? Profit in this country is good. That means commerce is being exchanged. Jobs are being held and in many cases created. But for some reason, having profit is a bad thing. What will you try and do? I'm going to try to get rid of assault weapons. During the lame duck? I'm going to do it whenever I, I got to make that assessment as I get in and start counting the votes. I'm going to try to get rid of assault weapons. What does that mean? Is that any semi-automatic firearm as you described earlier? No socially redeeming value? What exactly does that mean? And everybody who voted for Biden and said, well, nobody's coming after your guns. I heard that so many times. Nobody's coming after your guns. Listen, he just said it. We knew this from day one. They hate guns. They hate the idea of people protecting themselves. They hate the idea that we're not reliant upon the government for our own safety. Can you give your assessment on whether Ukraine aid will need to be topped up in the, in the late duck? Well, I, yes. I, matter of fact, I just had another drawdown. I signed another drawdown of over $300 million. And uh, there's no time, this is no time to walk away from Ukraine. Based on that, I would think his son, Hunter Biden, would be the first contributor, first in line, because he profited millions and millions of dollars from the country of Ukraine. Why isn't he giving up? I haven't heard a thing. Even Joe's in on it. We'll find out more in the future, but he's using the taxpayer's money. I'm not against that. I think we should support Ukraine. Black when will you get Stein? your annual physical, Mr. President? What do you think I need it? <laughs> When will you get your annual physical? Now, that's a question I would like an answer to. I think a detailed physical of his mental capabilities would be a good start, but we're not going to hear about that. We're going to hear about all this other rhetoric about socially redeeming values from semi-automatic firearms. This guy is, he's, he's blind to the world. He's, he doesn't see anything except for what his handlers tell him. And in his world, that's a reality. He's going after your guns. He's going after your guns through red flag laws and confiscation and everything else. All that stuff we heard about, nobody's going after your guns. It's right there. It's been said so many times. I just wanted to play it again because Joe thinks there's no socially redeeming value of self-protection and safety amongst our most vulnerable people out there, our families and, and, and the children and even older folks. People are lined up to get trained. People are purchasing firearms. And actually, it, I saw a statistic recently that said the voters have increased gun control very low on the list of importance in this country. Yet, with everything going wrong, record high inflation, fuel prices, and everything else, Biden is focusing on gun control. Unbelievable. This guy is lost, and I'm just, I'm, I'm sickened by it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.